Hi everyone, my name is Augusta and I am a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a unique tool in Alteryx. Before we start, please note that all links to materials relevant to this video, including data sources, are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. We will start by inputting our dataset onto Alteryx. Click OK. Let's observe what we have in the dataset first. There is customer ID, first name, last name, address. There's also city, state, zip code, store number, customer segment, visits, and spends as well. What we want to do is we want to take only unique people from this list as we suspect there might be duplicates uh, within this customer list in the data set. For this reason, we're going to use the unique tool. To find the unique tool, you can either look for it under the preparation section, and it's going to be at the very end. Alternatively, you can search for it on the search bar at the top right. The configuration of the tool is very easy. We only need to select columns, which we are basing our unique values on. So in this case, we're going to select first name and last name, as we believe all unique people have different first and last names. Let's run this workflow. We have two outputs. One of them is of unique people, the other one is the duplicates. As you can see, we have 90 records of unique people and we have six records as duplicates. If we go back to our initial data set, we had 96 records in total. So that makes total sense that it just split all these customers into unique and duplicates. However, with the unique tool, it can be tricky to select the right column names as our unique identifiers. And let's see what I mean by that. If we go into our duplicates, we have a person named Kim Smith. And if we go into our unique customers, we also have Kim Smith. Now let's inspect this further. So within the unique list, our Kim Smith live in E. Kenyon place. And within the duplicates, our Kim Smith lives in Harlan Street. Therefore, it means that these people actually are different individuals and we should not see this in our duplicates. What we're going to do then is we're going to drag another unique tool and improve the configuration of it. So this time we're going to select the first name, last name, and the address as well. Now let's run this workflow. And we are currently seeing our unique list. Let's scroll down to case. And there we have it. There are two Kim Smiths. However, they are living in different places and therefore they're not duplicates. Finally, just to improve the understanding of the tool, let's bring another one. And let's select all of the fields possible. Logically, this should give all the 96 rows back as our unique rows and duplicates should be zero. Let's check this theory. And there you have it. We have 96 records placed as unique and zero as duplicates. I hope you now feel more confident in using the unique tool in Alteryx. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you would also find these other videos by my colleagues useful. Thanks for watching.